thank you. And now to a very real and present danger here at home. The death toll continues to rise from the historic Midwest flooding. The massive cleanup from the catastrophe is underway in some towns, while further south, people are still bracing from the worst from the mighty Mississippi. ABC meteorologist Indra Peterson has the latest from Cape Girardeau, Missouri Forest this morning. Hi, Indra. Good morning, Paula. It's hard to believe it's actually been a week since all that record rain that fell into the Midwest, and yet here I am today still standing in water, and we know the story here is actually just beginning. Homes submerged, hundreds of roads washed away, cars stranded. This morning, parts of Missouri under as much as 16 feet of water after a week of record flooding along the Mississippi River. It's mind-boggling. At least 23 people are dead, others still missing, and the deadly deluge is not over yet. Illinois governor declaring a state of emergency, deploying National Guard troops to the hardest hit areas as officials and residents brace for the worst. This is particularly dangerous to have this kind of rain and then this kind of cold. In some parts of Missouri, the water finally starting to recede, but for many, the damage is already done. Matt Crachley is staying with family after his suburban St. Louis home was swept away on Wednesday. The force of the raging water smashing the house into a bridge. I thought it was going to get in the house and then a couple feet, and then I never had any imagined that it would go over the roof and then disappear. Crachley, no stranger to flooding, was stunned by the devastation. Put stuff high, the river goes down, you wash stuff and carry on, and you never expect your house to float away. Outside of St. Louis this morning, as the waters are receding there, they're still concerned about the threat of enough drinking water as that water went right into that water filtration system. Now here, farther to the south in Cape Girardeau, the story is just beginning. They've already surpassed the record flooding from 1993, and the river hasn't even crested yet. In fact, by tomorrow morning, it's expected to rise to 50 feet here. And of course, this is not just for this region. Notice out towards Illinois, very unusual. They've actually already posted flash flood watches over concerns that the levees there will breach. And then all of this water still has to make its way farther down to the south. So places like Mississippi and out towards Louisiana, they are carefully watching the situation because they know all this water is headed in their direction. It just takes time. So still another week or two from now, we are still going to be talking about that threat for major flooding in that region. And the other thing I have to point out, it is very cold this morning. Typically, when you see a flooding concern in this part of the country, it's usually in the springtime when it's warm outside. But today, you can tell temperature are below freezing, so I'm actually standing in a mix of water and ice. So the roads are very slippery out here on the side of the roads. You're actually seeing ice crystals out there. It's almost impossible to walk. So just another layer to the depth of what's going on here. Drivers having a very difficult time into the Midwest. Dan, Paula? As if the situation couldn't get any worse. Indra, thank you. We'll check in with you a little bit later. And this is going to be going on for weeks, apparently. Indra, thank you. Let's take a look at the other morning headlines.